Happy Wednesday. Welcome back to Chats with Chase, and here's your next tip. Although you can use direct edit tools from yesterday's video to change a part, you may want to convert an entire part into SOLIDWORKS features. This can be useful if you're given a part, but will need to change several dimensions several different ways for various configurations. This can be done using feature recognition when you initially open the part. A reason you may not want to do feature recognition is that if you're just using the part exactly the way it is, there's no need and it'll take up unnecessary time. And even if you do need to make some slight changes, you can use direct edit tools like I did in the previous video. For this example, I'll use the same part from the direct edit video. When it opens, I'll go ahead and click yes to proceed with feature recognition. If you have trouble getting the automatic setting to work the exact way you want it, you could use the interactive recognition mode. I'll go ahead and do that with this billet just to show it. I tell it to look for fillets and check this box to chain the faces together. Then when I select one of the filleted faces, they all highlight. I'll click recognize and the fillet disappears. I could continue using the interactive mode for the other features, but for the sake of time, I'll switch it to automatic. In automatic, I can select all features I want it to look for. To save us some runtime, I'll have it look for only holes and extrudes, since that's all it should take to make this part. Hitting the next arrow, we have four features listed here. I can kind of click through those and they highlight in the graphics display. I'll accept this and it takes a few seconds to build everything, but then I have my part with features in the feature tree. Be aware though, none of the sketches that make up these features will have dimensions, but they're easy enough to go back through and add since they will be the correct dimension, just not defined. Thanks for watching. Contact me with any questions and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.